Former Pakistani president and military chief Pervez Musharraf has been indicted on three counts in an anti-terrorism court. The charges are related to the 2007 murder of late Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto. Musharraf also appeared in court amidst tight security during the day's hearing. Our correspondent Daniel Khan has more in this report. A charge sheet was read out against the former president and six others nominated in Benazir's murder during the hearing. The Bhutto case is one in a series of court battles that Musharraf has faced over allegations dating back to his 10 years rule since he returned in March from four years of self-imposed exile. Benazir Bhutto was assassinated in a gun and bomb attack in 2007 while Musharraf was president. She was killed after addressing an election campaign rally. Musharraf has been charged with murder, criminal conspiracy for murder and facilitation for murder. The six accused persons include former city police officer and the then superintendent of police. Musharraf and the accused men have denied the charges. The important thing is this, you will have to prove the allegations with evidence and still there is no evidence on record. So we can say the uh, future of President Musharraf is quite clean, neat. These are all fabricated cases. There is nothing solid all in all these cases. Even Benazir murder case, uh, Bhakti case. The court has ordered the authorities to produce all the defendants in a hearing fixed for August 27 as it subsequently adjourned the matter for evidence to be brought forward. Following the adjournment, the former president returned to his farmhouse residence, which had been declared sub-jail. Experts maintain bringing charges against a former military chief is an unprecedented move in a country ruled for more than half of its life by the military and considered the single most powerful institution. Musharraf's future is uncertain as he remains jailed behind the concrete walls of his residence amongst severe security threats to his life. Daniel Khan, CCTV, Islamabad.